Here we are at the venue, and I'm joined by, first of all, a familiar face, Jason Brindley, who looks after the academy, but also we've got five 14-year-olds from left to right as I sit here, Oliver, Eric, Oshan, James, and Owen. Let's bring you in first of all, Jason, because we're here for a very specific purpose, the Cymru Cup 2019. It's held over two days up at Wrexham. And in effect, it's the trials for the Wales under 15s. Yeah, so every year they host the Cymru Cup, which is, they have the Welsh regional squads, and then they have a South and North team as well. They have in the past also had a central team. Uh, and then basically what they do beforehand, the last couple of years they've run a camp, where they select players from all different Welsh academies um, and then they sort of like do it out of that and then camps create squads who then go and compete in the Country Cup. Uh, so it would be North, South and then the Welsh regional squad as well. Yeah, so three squads play against each other. Oliver, how did you feel when you were selected to join up at Wrexham? Um, it was an honour to represent Wales, like delighted to play for them, really looking forward to the opportunity. And it's the first step on a ladder that hopefully could lead to joining the under-15 squad. Yeah, um, I'm, I've been delighted to play for the under-15s if I could. Um, this is like an opportunity to play for the 15. Eric, what position do you do you play for TNS? Uh, I play on the right. And, and how long have you been with the academy? Uh, I've played for TNS for four years now. So you've certainly been here a while and you know how it all works and no doubt that will have a, a big impact when you go to the trials. Yeah, I've trialled a long time ago and I'm used to like high standard of football so hopefully it'll help me when I play in the coming cup. Excellent. Asha, now over to you. What position do you play? Uh, I can play in the middle but a few times I, I can drift out wide and up top sometimes. And like everyone else, you joined TNS Academy when you came along for, for trials here at Park Hall. Yeah, that was about two years ago, I think, two and a half years ago then. Yeah. And what did it feel when Jason said to you, Oshin, you're in, you've got the green light to join the New Saints Academy? Yeah, it was good because I only just come from a Sunday league team, but I was at Airbus previously and it was good to play it. Okay. And you're looking forward to these games up at Wrexham? Yeah, that will be good. It's all like hard work playing here to get like notice to go to the trials and get through, yeah. And as we swing around, we've got James next. So James, tell us, how long have you been here at Park Hall with the Academy? Uh, nearly a year now. And you're, you're enjoying it? Yeah, it is. And what position do you play? Uh, I play seven minutes, but I play left back for Wales. I suppose there's a, a flexibility in lots of footballers today, Jason, that is not just evident in the first team, such as we have here at Park Hall, but also you want to introduce that into what we call the TNS DNA throughout the system. Yeah, of course. Obviously, it's good to be able to play in a variety of positions. If you look at it, with our first team, as an example, of Danny Redmond plays essentially like James, so he can play on the left as well, as he's got good strength for his delivery as well. Um, you look at like the Welsh way, the game model, which they their sort of like playing model, and you know it's very similar to extent to our own here of how we want to play here at TNS. And Owen, last but certainly not least, we come round to you in the group. You've been here uh, not as long as the others, so how are you finding it, training and playing with the new Saints? Uh, it's a big step up, step up from uh, Cornwall, but it's a uh, big good thing. It's helping me. You say, you say it's a big step up and I'm, I'm bringing Jason back in again now. As a player, you want to test yourself, you want to push yourself to the highest level that you possibly can. And Jason, that's not just for the first team, but also it's through the academy system. Yeah, of course, we always want to push our players to fulfil their potential. Um, and you know, the Cairo Cup is a fantastic opportunity to experience that. On the back of the Cairo Cup a few years ago, one of our players, um, Jack Bale, was actually that was when he was highlighted into the Welsh system. So he wasn't in the system until the Cairo Cup, and obviously now he's playing for you know Wales under 19s. Um, so it's you know it's a fantastic opportunity for you guys to play against superb opposition, playing against Cap One 
you know, English opposition, uh, English team opposition, opposition, sorry. So, uh, yeah, great experience, great opportunity. You deserve to be there, you, you know, you've done the hard work now. So, uh, go out there and enjoy it, okay? And express yourselves. Anyway, let's, let's, let's continue with our little, little chat. Oliver, you've heard just there about uh, Jack Vale. He left TNS, he went to Blackburn Rovers, and he's gone on to play football at his age and all in context at a, at a relatively high level. How important is it at TNS to see players that have gone on such as Jack? Yeah, it's obviously really inspiring like, to see players like Jack go on to bigger things. You can like, motivate yourself to see what they've done and follow that pathway. Ashen, not just Jack who left the New Saints as we've heard, but also players in the first team squad this season, Liam Parry, he was here on the training pitch at Parkour just about half an hour ago because I had a chat with him. He'd come along and said, what are you doing, Liam? I've come to help Jason out with the academy. How much of an inspiration is people like Liam Parry? Yeah, just a big inspiration for like all of us at the academy. And like, it makes us want to like, work harder to be like, like that and, and not just Liam, of course, Eric, we're looking at the likes of Lewis Dutton, he's often helping out with the academy as well, signed a professional contract this year, Ari Boa, CJ Craven. As a youngster in the academy, these are the players that you want to follow in the footsteps of. Yeah, I'd love to sign a professional contract for TNS. <laughs> Something James has got the giggles there. <laughs> something I'd like, love to do and, and like, try and look, push myself to be like them. Th that, that's fantastic. James, I'm going to bring you in there. You had the little giggles there, didn't you? I know you were all quite nervous beforehand <laughs> and often when people are nervous, the, the giggles come out. But bringing you in, James, you know, we've heard the names mentioned of some of these players and we've heard just there that you want to make it to the top, don't you? You want to be a professional footballer. Yeah, I love being like a professional footballer. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm really nervous. It, it, it's okay. We understand. No, no problem at all. That's the aim of what you want to do. Maybe get a contract at TNS or wherever your future lies. <laughs> 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 Yes, <laughs> you've answered that one. Well. Anyway, Jason, I'm going, to, I'm going to have the, uh, the final little chat with you. We know the reality is that not everybody in the academy will go on to play for the New Saints or to play professional football, but while they're with us, you're working with them, you're looking for the talent that perhaps will go that little bit further. Jack Vale, classic example. Others have also yeah. gone on to play professional football. And so as the head of the academy, you work with these lads on a weekly basis, and it's not just about the football, but also developing them as people. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, we've got players who've left in us to go into different walks of life, and you know, it's important that we still, like we did when we did the presentation last week, teamwork, discipline, things that you know you can apply to any you know walk of life, any field, whichever you guys go down. So, you know, we want to help you fulfil your potential, but you know, you may decide that you want to go down a different route physio, uh, coaching as well, you know, all our, mind, all our scholarship players do coaching badges, you know, like you just said, Liam Parry's out there helping with the, uh, with the under nines and the tens this evening, so it's great that we can give our players additional support so they can um, create new skills that can help them out in other areas, because even if they do become a football player, you know, there's still only the, the career um, sort of like duration is still short, so they need something to fall back on when they finish football. Look at Chris Sargent, now he's obviously been doing his coaching badges and he's got uh, education behind him is now becoming head of coaching here at uh, TNS. So it's important that even if you do guys, if you guys do get a contract, what you can do after that finishes. So uh, it's always just helping out the players. Owen, James, Ashen, Eric, and Oliver, thank you for your time this afternoon. All the very best in the Cumbria Cup, and we are all rooting for you here at the New Saints that you will make that final squad and represent your country at the under 15s level. Jason as well, thank you for your time and thank you for all the great work that you do, not just with the youngsters 
here this evening, which of course brings you great satisfaction when they're in a position like this, but also across the board. Yeah, well done boys. Enjoy your day, work hard, uh, enjoy the experience. Thank you, Adam. Thank you.